what's up guys uh, Rafe Raff here again with another video uh, today is transfer day today is when I transfer all my uh, fish from my 25 gallon to my uh, 75 gallon here as you see um, um, everything is doing good um, I am moving corals right now uh, I started actually last night to move some corals and um, as you see here just acclimating all the corals to the new um, um, to the new water um, got some um, reef glue here um, first before I did the move here um, I'm before I'm gonna do the move here is um, I made sure a week before that I brought all the calcium alkalinity and magnesium levels to what my other uh, reef tank is uh, and a, even a little bit better here because I had the control because I didn't have any livestock so I could dose it as much as I wanted to um, the, t the tank has been cycled um, here is uh, the results of the ammonia nitrite, nitrate, and nitrite, nitrite and nitrate, um, and um, the tank has been uh, uh, cycled. So, um, well, I it's it's kind of like a mess. There's wires everywhere. It's not going to look like this, guys. Um, as soon as I move all the livestock and the corals in, I'm going to you know start straighten things out here um, and um, you know hopefully make it look nice uh, not that I care about it back here but just for my um, you know I you know because I can't really you know I don't like the mess so uh, but anyway um, I was dosing by bionic but uh, you know that's gonna cost a lot of money now with the 75 gallon so I'm not stupid to go ahead and buy because I'm dosing like 75 mils a day. Um, so I went and got the bulk reef supply. Um, uh, that's that's doing very well, you know. Um, mixed it up and everything. So yeah, let me show you guys a little bit here on this side now. Um, I have already moved some corals in. Like I said, I started, like I told you guys, I started yesterday. So the zines. Um, you know everything is like closed up a little bit right now um, the lights just came on but you know I moved the um, two of my uh, hard corals SPS is here uh, there's a blueberry acropora and uh, uh, I think they're both acropora so acro so yeah uh, mushrooms are all closed up here there's a green mushroom over there um, yeah, my 25 gallon here is like, s the lights are off still, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, as soon as the lights come on, I'm gonna get everybody into this bucket here I've prepared, not everybody, but look, like the clowns and the anemone and with the rock, we'll go into another bucket and, uh, the, the thing and, and rest of the rock will go in another bucket. I'm going to throw out two pieces of this rocks here and probably come up with some other kind of aquascape uh, because it's going to be too much um, of, of rock that what I need so you know make it look a little different. As far as the refugium goes um, I will be using some of the water from here uh, but as far as the refugium goes um, I, I really don't don't think I'm gonna keep anything uh, besides you know get my uh, get my um, uh, you know the, the uh, microalgae and, and the uh, mangroves and everything out of there and put it in my other refugium. Uh, yeah, guys. So um, I'll make another update when I uh, when I start the uh, transfer. Peace. Yeah, the tank. Um, Still got some stuff on the refugium, uh, but uh, everybody's actually getting acclimated over here. Um, 
I got four li drip lines going um, over here. That's where the fish is at. Some corals over there. Uh, there's most of the corals on this on this uh, big bucket here. Um, yeah, so it's just a matter of getting everybody acclimated now. We got them in, in the new tank. Um, so I'll make a, another video when I uh, when I do that. There's another coral getting acclimated here. It's got like six dripping lines going. So yeah, guys, stay tuned for more. Okay. Bye. Everybody is in the tank. Um. And uh, I think they're liking it. I'm not sure. We'll see. But, uh, you know, I acclimated them nice. Uh, they look like they're, you know, swimming around, whatever, exploring shit. But uh, my aquascape phew, sucks. I don't know. My, I don't know. My, I thought the rocks were too, are too big, you know what I mean, for, for this tank. So... I'm probably, you know, going to live it as is. Um, there's a big cave under there. Um, caves everywhere. Um, um, MP40. Uh, no, WP40. And a uh, WP25 on the other side. Um, I'm, I have it soaked in vinegar, you know, to clean it up. And then I'll put it in a tank when uh tomorrow but yeah um the move was a success um it's still a mess in here got shit all over the place everything is empty um 25 gallon is empty didn't take any of the sand left everything there uh didn't take anything down here left all the sand and everything in there so um yeah, guys, this I'll, I'll be cleaning this tomorrow with uh, water and vinegar, and we should be good to go. <coughs> um, there's everything here. Um, my carbon, carbon and GFO uh, reactor. Um, still haven't cleaned up all the um, you know, the cords here, but all. Uh, I'll do that maybe tomorrow. Um, so far, so good. All right, guys. All right, and you can update me in a little while when I um when I clean everything up here in, in a couple weeks. All right, peace. Yo, YouTube, what up? A refraff here again with another update on the 75 gallon in wall tank um, everything seems to be doing okay um, just finished up uh, feeding these guys um, you know after moving them in let them um, you know I didn't feed them right away so I let them you know be for a day or so two days and then I fed them and they ate perfectly fine. Um, I feed them a, a mix of cyclopes um, and flake, special flake food. I mix them together, you know, and feed them. Um, everybody's doing good. No fish. I didn't lose any fish. Didn't lose any coral. Um, everything so far so good. Um, the blue tang is in there. It's just shy of coming out. He's been doing all right. Um, I need to get that 25 MP, WP25 going. I burned out the um, I burned out the um, AC adapter for my uh, WP40, so I have to switch them up. Um, but yeah, um, Aquascape sucks. Looks like shit, but you know, corals make it look pretty. So you know what I mean. I don't care. Plan to cover everything in coral, so you know you won't be seeing much of the rock anyway. Um, so far so good. Um, 
this, <laughs> you know, it looks like I have a lot of corals, and this they came, you know, it, it is a lot of corals. They they came, they all came from the 25 gallon. Um, that tank was was doing very very well. I was up for a year. Everything was growing and growing, and um, now everything I transfer here and and it seems to be, you know. This, the corals just seem to open so much more here than they were my 25 even though my 25 uh, my levels on my 25 were perfect here I'm uh, you know get trying to get my uh, pH up a little bit uh, dripping calc I'll show you on the back there um, but let me give you a tour of the corals here um, this is that a can um, doing very well you can neck next to it it's not doing too too good I don't know hasn't opened in, since I moved them in um, this mushroom rock here is doing very well there's mushrooms all over the floor mushrooms there mushrooms taking over um, the green star pollux over there um, the anemone um, and the clowns are doing well. There's the tank, the blue tank in there. Pulse and zinnias doing well. Um, there's a uh, what is that? A uh, frog spawn down there. It's starting to open up a little bit. Um, there's a blueberry uh, green no a blueberry acropora over there. And there's another acro up there. Um, that's a that's a fake coral skeleton. I think it was a Fabia co uh, coral or something like that. Uh, that's my uh, plate coral there. Some some zoas here, not doing too well. They're not open. Um, my alien eye candy cane is doing good. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, I'll give you a tour of the uh, of the back on the refugium too right now. Um, so I'm just gonna go back there. All right, guys. So here, so I got rid of all the wires. Everything is hooked up. That's my little cart here, and every. I mean, they're still a mess because they're like. So many wires, but I know where everything is. My reef uh, keeper over there, uh, two GFCI, um, 12 outlets out of here. Um, my pH controller, 8.1, uh, reef keeper, Jibao, and the uh, other Jibao uh, return pump. Uh, those are all my bulk reef supply, calcium alkalinity, all the additives. Um, Replenish. Um, I got strontium, strontium um, iodine, uh, the algae grower here on this side. Uh, the MP. Um, we got the NO3 P for uh, X, the Red Sea um, biological nitrate and phosphate reducer. I'm not using this. Uh, I don't need to use it right now. I don't have any SPS corals. Two SPS corals in there. So I like my nitrate to be a little high, that's why I'm feeding my tank a little bit more. So my algae can grow in the, in the refugium here. So there's a, the carbon and GFO right here. I had a lick here, so I'll have to fix that and get a little, another elbow. So the skimmer has been producing a lot of good stuff in there, a lot of, you know, nice, green brownish uh, color um, thing so the hose it's okay I think I have a lick somewhere so I'm going to be changing this hose um, UV sterilizer over there going up on the tank uh, Calerpas uh, let me tell you something about my refugium my refugium has three kind of different mud systems there's miracle mud over here about two inches then there is uh, ocean mud not ocean Fiji ocean 
mod, not that one. Um, it's a different mod which was uh, um, originally came from the actual ocean. I got it in New Jersey. Um, it's harvested somewhere in New Jersey. And then the top is the uh, mineral mud. So I got three different kind of muds on the system. Um, it's doing good. Um, I got bio balls here and bio balls here, a little bit of carbon and some uh, carbon and some other um, you know uh, filter floss in there. Um, and uh, my uh, uh, algae scrubber. Everything is doing well in the tank. Um, so far, knock on wood. Um, I want to do a uh, alkalinity test now. Uh, the lights, I seem to have found the sweet spot for the corals. Um, so I'm going to leave them at this settings for now. And then maybe in a month or so, I'll bump them up a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, that's, that's the setup back here. Um, everything is doing good.